it's been a while since the denizens of the Mushroom Kingdom have settled their beefs on the court, but with Mario Tennis open, Nintendo is hoping it's better late than never. The 3DS installment brings the series into the online space for the first time. Does the ability to take on comers from across the globe compensate for a basically non-existent career mode? <laughs> Whether you're talking traditional matchups or imaginative minigames, Mario Tennis delivers a wide range of activities to enjoy. In tournament mode, you square off against AI opponents to compete for not only top honors, but also to unlock new gear that you can purchase in the clubhouse. Initially, you can only tackle four different tournaments, but winning them all unlocks four additional ones that really up the challenge. These new courses are also restricted to certain characters. By completing the fourth tournament, your character gains star status, and thus becomes eligible to compete in the elite tournaments. Outside of competing in matches, you can let off some steam in four different types of minigames. Some of them are duds, like Ink Showdown, where the goal is to simply keep the ball away from the opponent. But then there's Super Mario Tennis, which is a clever mashup that has you trying to complete levels based in the original NES game. Regardless of which is your favorite, the reward for your efforts are coins that you can spend on gear, as well as to unlock higher difficulty challenges for each minigame. You can easily lose yourself for hours in these short, addictive side attractions. Rather than making headway in a career mode like in previous installments, you tackle character progression by grinding through matches and minigames to unlock and purchase new gear you can then use to customize your character's stats. While this gives you more flexibility, it demands a lot of patience to unlock everything, and your customization is limited to your Mii character, upgrades have no effect on the standard roster. While you theoretically could make your Mii more powerful than any of the other playable characters, the restrictions in place are disappointing nonetheless. When you feel like you've mastered your swing, you can take your best shot against opponents in the multiplayer mode. During our review, competing against opponents via local Wi-Fi or download play was fast and easy, giving us quick access to both exhibition-style matches and an assortment of minigames. Though we hit some minor bumps in the road early on, the online experience was smooth and easy to get in overall. You can customize your settings to tweak a matchup between your friends, or you can head into the more competitive matches with random opponents to vie for that top spot in the global rankings. Additionally, the game integrates Street Pass functionality in a similar fashion to Mario Kart 7. You can square off against people you meet in matches or team up for other activities. It's a clever way to increase the replay value considering that hidden characters and other unlockables will only carry the experience so far. <laughs> Mario Tennis Open's touchscreen controls work wonderfully. It's not just the fact that it's so easy to use the screen to execute shots with a simple touch, but the color coding system makes the game much more enjoyable for those who favor a different type of visual interface. If you prefer a traditional setup, you also have the option to use the face buttons. One way or another, the game very likely accommodates your favorite playstyle. The same can't be said about the gyro controls. It's a novel idea, but ultimately more trouble than it's worth. That's because moving around while trying to maintain the 3D effect is virtually impossible, so you're basically forced to turn it off. Additionally, it's disorienting to use the gyro controls during a match, despite the option to let your character move around on autopilot to compensate. It's fun to try out at least once, but you'll quickly switch back to the standard setup. All of the characters come with the same basic skills and shot types, and the only real difference between them boils down to which attributes they excel at. The real key to winning a match is taking advantage of chance shots, lobs that soar sky high, slices that defy gravity, and top spins with the power to knock your opponent back on their heels. The lack of power-ups and character-specific special moves holds the game back from achieving much depth, but at least what's here is balanced. You feel that you have the same chance at winning no matter which character you select. That's not to say a little more variety wouldn't have spiced things up, though. We've seen plenty of similar games in the past achieve this sort of depth without sacrificing balance. Mario Tennis Open is another example of a game that would do without the 3D effects. They are often more trouble than they're worth, and the effect doesn't add much to the experience. The court designs start off rather basic, but you'll eventually encounter some standouts. The Super Mario Galaxy court in particular is especially memorable. As for the soundtrack, there are plenty of great remixed themes cherry-picked from the entire Super Mario canon. 
Mario Tennis Open single player mode is fun for a few hours, but it will ultimately leave you wanting more. Thankfully, the multiplayer mode with its online functionality will keep you coming back well after you've plowed through the main course. Mushroom Kingdom Tennis Vets will miss the career mode, but anyone just looking for a solid competitive game that's best enjoyed in short bursts will be well taken care of.